Hello everybody, Audio Keller back again with another video and today I just want to talk about the punch status display. This was a nice piece of hardware back in the mid 90s. It is a signal display where you can see if the signal is present, if your amplifier is in maximum power or if the amplifier is clipping. It has two inputs and how cool is this? You can make the connections with a standard network cable from your computer shop. But caution, don't use a crossover cable. It has to be a standard patch cable. You can connect this punch status display to different amplifier ranges. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. There's one important thing. If you have a punch 500M, you have also a connector for the punch status display. But don't connect it directly to the punch status display with your cable. You need an adapter. And of course, this adapter isn't available today. And on the left, you have the left channel. And of course, on the right, you have the signal display of the right channel. But you can also connect two amplifiers, two mono amplifiers. On the left channel, a mono amplifier and on the right channel, a mono amplifier. And if you just want to connect one amplifier, you have to take a look at the jumpers on the main board. You have to short both jumpers in stereo mode. But if you want to run two mono amplifiers, you have to put the jumpers away. There's also a connection for a remote. If you want to switch on the status display with an external switch, I just connected it to a punch 60x2 in this example. And we will take a look at the signal behavior. Both channels are loaded with a 4 ohm load. So we check the signal with a scope. Now it's connected. And you can see the power LED is on. I apply my signal. Now I go up to maximum. Maximum is illuminating. Now I do some fine tuning. I reduce so. At this voltage, it starts to light up. So we can also check out the max voltage is 22 volts. But the signal is really low in this case. We will go a little bit higher. Clipping is also coming into place. I reduce until clipping disappears. So, okay. So, this is the maximum output. We have 24.4 volts. And now I go to the clip. Clip is coming in. But the funny thing, we don't have clip here and there. There's no clipping. So, very good clip indicator. It indicates just right before it starts to clip in reality. So I go further with the signal. Clip goes brighter. And goes still bright. And now we have on the positive waveform clearly clipped signal. And now it's very bright. Now I'm using a music signal to test the clip indicator. I go one step higher. We have maximum flashing and clip sometimes. But I'm sure that we don't have a bass drum in this track. So I go to another section. Now we have a beat again. And the clip is coming in. Now I go one step higher. There you can see heavy clipping and we can see that our clip indicator is flashing much brighter now. Now I'm dismantling the unit. Take it off the bezel. So you can take this away. Remote switch. 
here are the jumpers for the amplifier. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.